Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to fix the hood latch and the hood release on the E36 BMW M3. Follow me. As you guys know from the first video of the E36, I've mentioned that the hood does not close. After troubleshooting, I found out that this right here and that one are not working so i ordered a new part now i did not order this one because i figured you know this might be still fairly good because you know it swings pretty well and when i was checking the car the hood was actually closed so it means to me that i believe this and that works now the third issue is the fact that on the driver's side here if i go on the driver's side here the hood release mechanism button here it's pretty much broken so we have to replace the cable going from here on the back all the way see this cable right here all the way here so we have to replace all of that today and that's exactly what we're going to do first thing to do is to pretty much remove this piece right here there's a screw here a screw here I already removed that and then you have that uh, one right here. this is a 13 let me see the screw that was here was actually 10 millimeter now that we remove the alternator air intake we have to go ahead and remove one two three one two three and those are t30 torques so let's go ahead and remove it right now the next step is simply to come down here remove the foot kick uh, uh, panel remove this top section right here it's all held by screws and then remove the speaker that we can see on the bottom here here's the speaker remove that speaker and once you do you will be able to now unscrew the release and as you can see right here here goes the cable that we are ready now to pull now we go back on the front and continue the process to save yourself some time normally you can release this portion right here that will let you remove this piece the release the whole latch thing but I've also found out if you actually pull this area a little bit you can remove these without removing this front guard right here for the headlight so that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to pull it and try to free this is the cable that we are going to work with going all the way inside to that area where i show you now this cable comes here and then there's another same cable running again to this other side right here so i want to go ahead and free these two after i free them i'm going to separate the cable from this portion then i'm going to go ahead and try pushing this cable a little bit on the inside so that it can release the grommet and then after that i will pull it over there and replace the cable that's pretty much what i'm going to do right now as you can see i was able to release i had to kind of deform this as you can see and deform this section also then this side slide out and i deformed this one a little bit got it to slide a little bit then put it back this way now when i put the new one i will do the same thing put it i will put it this way then put everything back together I mean since this car is old I don't really care too much but if I if it was like a good condition car I would probably suggest you to remove this panel so you have all the access but because this is already beat up he's been in a little accident on this corner as you can see things are bent already so I don't really care this is gonna be a street truck car I just want to be able to open and close the hood after struggling a little bit I was able to remove the cable so here's the grommet I was mentioning earlier let me see if i can point that to you this piece right here is the grommet so pretty much is you put your hand all the way here and then the grommet is on the top and once you do you only with like two fingers you kind of like do this way and then until it comes out now it was taking a long time for me so what i did is i used this right here and kind of like held this area and kind of pull that is what really helped me to remove this so once you have this in this location right here you are almost complete what you have to do now is pretty much trim this so that it's just small like this one and then use this to fish the new cable all the way to the other side that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to take a scissor kind of cut this area zip tie this cable to the new one without damaging this piece right here on the new cable and then pull the new cable all the way to the other side here's the new cable right here so this portion uh, let me not drop this this portion right here is what the lever is going to go with the release so when you want to open you pull on this area so this side is going to be on the inside of the car 
and then the other end of this cable is literally this portion right here so we're gonna have to feed this all the way and then this new side is gonna be replacing this one right here now this short cable as you can see exactly this is where it's going to be but on the inside and this release area we're gonna be right here and this one is gonna be right here that's literally what I'm going to do right now but the first thing is I want to go ahead and replace this long cable right here because this protected side is literally gonna be inside here all the way to the inside now this is the grommet portion I already cut the one on the old cable now when you pull it at one point you won't be able to pull because the grommet is going to be sitting on that hole now to make sure this job is simple i'm going to put a little bit of grease here just to help like guide the cable onto the onto the you know the fender liner in there and then um, instead of just pulling pulling on the outside here what i'm going to be doing is i will go inside push a little bit on the inside then pull a little bit on the outside instead of just staying on the outside pulling and maybe cutting the cable or creating all type of issues because if the cable is stuck here i'm fucked you know i won't be able to do anything and probably remove this piece right here just to release that cable so that's what i'm trying to avoid so i'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of grease here then go on the inside tie this cable to the old one now because i don't want to damage this side because this is the one that's going to be working i'm going to tie the old cable around this and make sure that this little piece here is held also with the other piece now the old cables of course i'm going to trash it so do not damage this cable for any reason as you can see i am done pulling here's the new cable right here and it's still attached to the old cable as you can see i put some tape here and zip tie inside just to make sure that they don't separate and here's the old cable that is damaged now I just have to separate this and then start installing this receptacle on this end I also want to point out that I didn't have to pull hard enough for this cable to come out once you cut the grommet which is actually uh, wait, that was this used to be the grommet right here once you cut that portion it's gonna go in the hole that is inside the footwell area there then all you do is you go in there you push you come to the front you pull now i'll route the cable a little bit this way but normally the cable has to come from here going in there i'm going to relocate the cable now that was just because this is easier for me to pull a little bit and now the grommet portion is stuck on the hole over there and it's not coming out that's exactly how you do now let me go ahead and reinstall this piece right here all right the new receptacle has been installed as you can see right here now I will go on the inside and install the lever and test the fitment. Make sure that everything is working as uh, supposed to. As you can see, this is the area where you normally pull the lever. This is the new right here. And the cable come already attached like this. So all you do is remove these two 8 millimeter screws from the old one, put the new one, screw them back up, and then attach the lever right here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And when you attach it, you have this uh, one screw that you have to put on it, a simple Phillips. And then after that, you should be able to test it. So now what I've done is on the back here, I remove this kick panel and remove the bottom portion of the stainless wheel here just because um, I just need a little bit of space. But then, yeah, once I'm done, I will put everything, screw these four holes for the speaker and then mount it back in this hole right here and that should be it all right guys so i'm done working on the car i tested everything the hood can close everything is set now this is a simple job you just have to have patience when you're doing it because it requires a lot of patience to pull the cable and fish it all of that and then mounting everything together now because this car is so old when you are taking pieces away make sure that you do it gently don't force anything because a lot of things break easily so now what i have to do is make sure that i do any type of engine maintenance like oil chains and change a few things like that just to make sure that the engine is refreshed also i'll be cleaning up the engine and doing a little bit of mods just because you know the car it's it's, it's a nice m3 and you need to do more also i'm going to be fixing the bumper doing all these things that i have to do to make sure that the car is ready and good for a track day there's a lot a lot a lot of little works that i'll be doing so i'll be working on this car a lot on this summer 
because I want to make sure that the car is ready for a track day. Yes, on this note, I'll see you on the next video. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do to uh, promote this channel. See you and take care.